So maybe you've been like me and you're decorating or remodeling a room and you need to put things on the wall and since we live in a world where our devices can basically hear our thoughts, you start seeing ads for all different kinds of things and one of those things are displays. So before we go any further, let's answer this question. What is a display? It's a one of a kind metal poster designed to capture your unique passions like movies, nature, maps, or food. These unique licensed artworks are 21st century canvases that are sturdy, magnet mounted, and durable enough to withstand a lifetime of intense staring. Now that you know what a display is, it's time to hear my take on them and then you can decide for yourself if you think it's worth it. Hey, what's up y'all? My name is Riley and I just decided to go for it and order a metal poster from Display. Like most things, I checked out the website, I did some research, I read some of the reviews, even the bad ones like this one that just said, just get a regular poster. They are overpriced. I got one and put it on my wall and it was a horrible mounting way. Within the first week, the sticky part got ruined and the metal poster came down and ruined my wall. Horrible product, not worth getting. That review was concerning since I planned on putting this first one above my TV. But all of the good reviews outweighed the bad, so I decided to commit and I ended up ordering a metal print of one of my Grail sneakers, the Air Max 90 Certain. Real quick, here's my exact order. There's three different sizes, medium, large, or extra large. I went with the large because I thought it would have been the right size for my room and how I wanted to set everything up. Also, from my understanding, I think the extra large is just four mediums that make up the single poster, and I didn't want to deal with that. I chose the matte finish over the gloss finish because I wanted it to be as non-reflective as possible. Last but not least, I chose no frame. I just didn't want one, that's just my decision. With all of those things selected, that price came to a subtotal of $114.54 after taxes and shipping. I unfortunately did not use a discount code and after I placed the order, the recurring thought popped into my head, are displays really worth it? My initial thought is, I like it. As advertised, it is a metal poster and measures the same size as the website. And if you're curious, here's what the inside of the box looks like and here's what came in the box. As far as shipping goes, it took six days to arrive and it should have taken five, but it was coming through FedEx and FedEx was being FedEx and so there was the delay and yeah, sorry if you're a FedEx employee. Anyway, I can't really give you an accurate opinion on choosing a matte finish or a gloss finish because I only ordered one and this one was matte. Maybe I'll get a gloss one in the future and compare the two, but for now this is all I got so this is what you're gonna see. I would just assume that the matte finish wouldn't be as reflective as the gloss finish because one's matte and one's gloss. One cool thing is, is that there is a QR code on the back that'll take you to a page that shows extra details about your display, like the color palette, the name of the artist, and even the day that it was printed. So if you wanna access these details in the future, you either save that code that you had to type in, or you just save the website or something like that. As far as setup goes, outside of moving the TV, it was very simple. Just like the website says and the instructions say, first you have to just clean the area with a cleaning wipe, let it dry. Then you have to put the protective leaf paper on. Once that's on, you peel the foil off the back of the magnets. You stick the magnet in the middle of the protective leaf, and then you just hang up your display. Now they do have a disclaimer on the website that states that even though they are designed to always hold tight, external factors like earthquakes, unusual humidity levels, or surprise kaiju attacks could cause them to fall. Tornadoes, children maybe, I don't know. I also noticed that if you want to like move your display after you put it up on the wall, um, it's a very difficult process because you have to remove the leaf paper, the protective leaf, but then you can't just take that off and put it on another wall and you have to order another pack from their website. They're only $13 for a pack of three, so with tax and shipping, I'll just say $20 to $30. But if you have about eight or nine or 10 displays, then that price can add up very quickly, even though they do have a pack of nine. Now for most people, that might seem annoying, that might seem tedious, it might seem like they're just trying to take your money, but hopefully whenever you put it up there, it's gonna stay there, or if you just moved, hopefully you're staying put for a while. For now, I'm good with mine because I do like it where it is and I plan on getting more to fill up this entire wall above the TV. I personally would say that they're worth the money for what you get. Some people might disagree, but that's just my opinion. Besides, according to their website, every display that you purchase, 
plants a tree. And they are always just running some kind of discount on their website. At the end of the day, this is just my opinion, like I just said. If anything does happen, I'll let you know down in the comments below, whenever that is, it could be six months, a year from now, whatever. I'm not sponsored, I don't have any kind of affiliate links, but if you do decide to get one, let me know. I just want to share my experience and my opinion with you. In the meantime, don't forget the thumbs up bell. I hope you and the fam are doing well. Bye.